Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Above. Today, I got the one small step shotgun. It's the new one you can get this week. You can get it from killing old uh, Gaul, the Nightmare of Gaul. This is a rapid fire frame, full auto shotgun. And it just, it sounds real. Let me turn that up for you. Or will you be like your That's pretty nice. I really, really like it. So, for these God Roll Guide videos, I like to uh, get a gun in Destiny, take a look at it, take a look at the roll that I've got, then talk about the other rolls that you can get, which ones I like, which ones I think are uh, entertaining, fun, good, powerful, whatever you want to have. Everything is just my opinion, so you can have a differing opinion. That's fine. Tell me your rolls. What did you get on this? Did you get it? How do you get it? So the question is, how do you get it? This week, we got a new Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare Hunt Rage. It comes from the essence of rage. So, defeat Nightmare of Dominus Gaul. If you go to the moon, you do this nightmare, you're going to get a uh, essence of rage for this shotgun. I think every time you do it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure every time you do that, I ran out of ammo, uh, you'll get an essence of rage and you'll be able to farm another shotgun. If you don't do that, or if it's not up this week, you can go down to Eris and go to the uh, Lectern of Enchantment and uh, use your phantasmal fragments, I think is what it's called, right? Yep. And uh, you can buy an Essence of Rage. As long as you've done it once, you can buy it from the table again. Um, so you can always get it once you've uh, once you've completed it one time, you can go back and get it. It's, it's a longer farm. Uh, so this week is the week to farm it if you want to get a good roll. And there are some interesting rolls that can come on the shotgun. Uh, and it is a uh, it is a primary kinetic shotgun. This one I got has a barrel shroud, smooth bore, accurized round, appended mag, auto loading holster, and moving target with a reload masterwork. Not crazy about it, I'll be honest, but I am crazy about the sound. It feels like it hits really hard. Uh, it's got really good reload speed, uh, 140 RPM, uh, eight in the mag. That's a pretty good RPM. Uh, pretty decent impact for a high rate of fire shotgun. I can't really compare it to anything else. Uh, you can see that the last man standing is a 60 and a 4. feels like they have very similar impact. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats that you can get. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, other rolls, the options that you have for uh, the one small step shotgun. So uh, humanity wants to drift with walking on the moon. Such innocence. <laughs> so it's, like I said, it's rapid fire frame. I don't know why the kill clip here uh, is showing up. But uh, mm, stats, you're a, you're a little wrong here. Balance intensity 10's right. Mag mag is seven. I've got extended mag, so I get eight in my magazine. Uh, there is a curated roll that looks, I guess, snapshot kill clip. Maybe it's just representing it weird. Uh, but here are the rolls you can get for this rapid fire frame shotgun. Uh, you can get any masterwork that uh, you can get on any other gun. Range, reload, handling. Uh, what's the other one? Range, reload, handling, and the fourth one that I can't remember off the top of my head. So here we go. Perk trees for the barrel. You can get rifled barrel. This will give you an increase in range and a decrease in handling, depending on what you want to do, especially the rapid fire shotgun. I don't know that I would go for rifled, rifled barrel. You don't need the extra range because you're going to be up in their face anyway. Um, smooth bore gives you increased range, just straight up increased range, but you get more projectile spread. I would argue against this one because of what's over here. Um, smooth bore or small bore. Increased range, increased stability. Not bad. I'd, I'd be all right with that. Barrow Shroud I like because you get an increase to handling and an increase to stability. So it'll be easier to handle and it won't bounce as far when you shoot it. That's what I've got on mine right now. Uh, corkscrew Rifling gives you range, handling, and stability. That's a good middle of the road. I wouldn't recommend it. but Then you have Full Choke. It'll tighten the barrel spread, but it reduces the precision damage. I like this for full... Uh, I like Full Choke for one-two punch shotguns. Because when you're running a run-two punch like I am on my Titan, you have to uh, shoot it and then immediately punch right afterwards. And it's a lot easier if you have a tight barrel spread to get that. Because you have to get every pellet to hit for one-two punch to proc. Uh, so I like full choke. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm dumb. But I like full choke for a one-two punch shotgun. And this one can get one-two punch. Don't worry. We'll get there. Uh, barrel or, uh, mag perks. Appended mag. Increases the mag by one. Tactical mag. Stability, reload, mag size. I'd go with tactical mag. That's probably a really good one. Extended mag is going to give you a plus 30 on magazine, but loses a lot of reload speed. You can only get one more in the mag. So uh, any one of these that give you a magazine size increase is going to give you the maximum of one. So I'd go with tactical mag. Uh, steady rounds? No. Accurized rounds? Eh, you don't need range on this. I don't think. Uh, light mag, range, and reload speed. Not bad. I would go with tactical mag. So 
You're going to get two of these. I would hope for full choke and... Uh, what do I have? Full choke and barrel shroud. So you could you pick your poison there. And then I would hope for tactical mag. You're going to get two here. Tactical mag or uh, steady rounds. Steady rounds is not bad. And then uh, over here you have grave robber. So when you get a melee kill, it'll reload a portion of the mag. I like grave robber for one, two punch shotguns because you're going to get that punch. And usually you're going to get a kill unless you're fighting a boss. Uh, so grave robber is pretty good to compare with a one, two punch. Uh, threat detector. Quick draw, slide shot, auto loading holster, and pulse monitor. Um, not too crazy about threat detector. Quick draw would be good. Uh, slide shot's decent. Auto loading holster's nice. Pulse monitor, I guess, sure. Um, I'd definitely go with the grave robber number one for me. Uh, quick draw's good, like I said. So you can kind of pick whichever one of these you like the best. Uh, if you could pick it. But, it's, you know, you're going to get it randomly, so you never know. Uh, next up we have uh, the one-two punch, which I recommend. If you don't have a one-two punch shotgun, it's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, certain builds with the strength build on the Titan and Peregrine Greaves right now, it's OP. Uh, they might nerf it. They haven't yet. They might, but they haven't yet. Uh, then we have hip fire grip. Not bad, but you have to sacrifice one-two punch for hip fire grip, so I wouldn't recommend it. Moving target, which I have on mine. Meh. Rampage is good on a shotgun. I like Rampage because you're definitely going to be taking people out if you're just shotgunning like crazy. Uh, snapshot sights and opening shot. I would consider these two kind of PvP perks more than PvE. But uh, you can still get them if you like them and use them. I mean, here's the thing about god rolls, guys. My god roll is going to be different from your god roll. My god roll is uh, full choke, tactical mag, grave robber, one-two punch. That's my god roll. Yours may be different, and that is okay. I don't mind it. Did I get kicked to orbit yet? I just did a whole lot of talking about the... Uh, one small step. All right, Neil Armstrong, I need some more ammo so we can shoot some stuff, have some fun. So what do you guys think? Is this a good shotgun? Is it worthy? What do you think? I'm not I'm not sold on it. Um, more testing is needed. I need to get a one-two punch shotgun, or I need to get a one-two punch roll on this one and then see how it does. Maybe go up against some bosses with it and try to shred them a little bit. See how it does, because if it does feel like it hits really hard. Uh, it's very, very fast. I do like how quick it is. And I do like that it is uh, kinetic. Kinetic's nice. I haven't had too many uh, awesome kinetic shotguns with 1-2 punch. Has there been any? I don't know. There's been a uh, trench barrel. Hey, I'll take that. Come on. There's been trench barrel, but not really 1-2 punch. I think 1-2 punch has only been on the uh, Crown of Sorrows Rage shotgun and the uh, Gambit Prime shotgun. So, past that, I don't think you can get 1-2 punch. You can get it on the new raid shotgun and you can get it on this one, so. It just, it moves really fast. I'm impressed with how quick this shotgun is. Um, it might be the barrel shroud. It might be the, uh, hello. Hi, how you doing? Uh, how's it get, feel to get punched face? I, I'm, I was entertained by the fact that you ADS and it's just like, alright, look down the barrel. There is no sights on this thing at all. It's just, it's just, there's a barrel. Shoot. So. The sound, I love the sound of the uh, the Aeris guns, the, what would you call these, Dream Bane guns? I don't know, what do you call these shotguns? I guess you call them Dream Bane shotguns, because it's the Dream Bane armor. So I'd call these Dream Bane weapons, right? Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's the uh, one small step shotgun new gun this week. You can get from the uh, Gaul, get a screenshot. You can get it from the Gaul Nightmare. Get it, let me know what you get. What's your role? You enjoying it? What other guns do you want me to take a look at? I do a lot of these. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until then, until next time, I'm Death from Above, and I'll see you later. See you, bye.